Oh, hell again, people in YouTube land. Got another amp. And this time, I went something wet that was pure tube. Oh, let's get down and look at it. As you see, it's a black star. It is the black star. Where's it at? Black star stage, HG stage 100. 100 watts of all tube. Uh, the first thing you would probably notice is everything's backwards. See, my line 6 is up there. Input's on the left. Power's on the right. Presence and master on the right. That's what you would normally expect. Well, one fun fact about Blackstar is when Marshall started promoting their MG series and another series i can't remember how many people left but there was quite a few members of marshall that left to and they cashed in their 401k so they had some money and they wanted to start their own amplifier company and we got black star yeah i'm sorry the camera's a little shaky let me get a little more better Ugh. okay here we go Okay, this is just going to be an overall just look at the entire amp, and I will do a second video showing all the tones, my tones that I preset. As you can see, the gains are set relatively high. <laughs> uh, from right to left instead of left to right, you start with your clean channel. Uh... With each channel, you have this voicing button. With it out, you get this boutique sound. Uh, if you crank the volume and keep the volume, the master volume down, you can actually get some crunch out of the channel for like blues and stuff like that. But if you push the voice in, it gives you a more modern, clean tone. And with this, I found it a little weird, but all you get is a treble and a bass. But honestly, that's all you really need. Uh, next is Overdrive 1 and 2. OD1, OD2. Sorry. Uh, one of the very first things that sort of turned me off about this amp was the fact that it sh both overdrive channels share an equalizer and i've had that in the past and it made one of the overdrives sound really good but the other sound like shit but the voicings on basically all four modes of the overdrives are so closely matched that all you need is one of one EQ and the ISF infinite sound con infinite sound feature. I call it infinite sound control because yeah, it's a feature, but it's, a, it's actually a control. Uh, but as you see, we're on clean right now. Uh, OD one is sort of a amber orange color. Uh, I have my volume set relatively low so I can boost the, uh, power section a little more to get uh, the tube coloration into the sound a little more. Uh, but just like with the clean, you have a voicing, uh, with it out, it gives you a more classic tone. With it in, it gives you a more modern tone, a more high gain, classic uh let me think i think sticks uh boston well no boston would be with it out basically classic rock that's high gain maybe even black sabbath uh and then you go to overdrive 2 it's completely red it is the high gain and i have the gain almost maxed out. I don't. You you never really want to max out the gain completely, because you're gonna lose a lot of your sound. It's all gonna be distorted and all scrambled up, and you're. It, it just doesn't sound right. 
but it also has a voicing. Uh, they say it sounds classic or modern, but basically if it's in the out position, which would mean off, I mean, yeah, uh, the voicing is off. It gives more of a muffled sound. Uh, I didn't really like that. I like the more modern tones, so I keep it in. I keep all the voicing in. Uh, and then we get to the regular. You got the three regular, the treble, the middle, and the ba the mid and the bass. I don't know why they put middle. It's mids. Uh, and then you have the ISF control. Now, the coolest feature is the ISF control all the way to the left. It there's more highs that come through it's more american sounding uh not as much punch I mean, there is some punch because as you see over at the master channel you have your master volume then you have your master presence and then your master resonance resonance is the amount of oh excuse me is the amount of bass and i have that maxed out because i play modern metal and yes this can play modern metal uh, especially if you got some EMGs in your guitars, like Hellraiser with the uh, 8189, which are coil tappable. Uh, seven, it's a little dark, but it's got a 707 and an 817. Usually when I go to, I'm usually when I'm using my uh, an EMG 81. Ah, crap. I keep the ISF past the middle, about at the 130 position. But when I go to the 7th string, I need uh, to cut down on the uh, bass some. So I go down to about the 11 o'clock, 1130 position, whatever you want to call it. But basically the ISF controls... Uh, Over towards the, towards the British side, it sounds more muffled. Gives you more bass. Cuts down on the highs. Cuts down on the mids. And another weird thing that I found is, uh, instead of pushing up to turn it on, you push down. So I just turned it off. So push down on the switch, and it comes on. Standby right here. It is tube. The reverb that comes with it is a fully digital reverb and on the back it has a light and a dark switch depending on what type of reverb that you like like i said it is digital that's the only digital part of this a lot of people say oh i wonder if he's going to mention the solid state okay take it apart like i have it is not solid state yes there may be a few solid state parts but it is a true tube amp so all you haters out there yeah, shut up. And then when you get to the left side, yeah, you got the reverb. Then you got the master, the resonance, the presence. The presence is basically the highs. It, uh... What's a good way to describe it? Basically how much presence the highs and mids have coming out. The speakers and I'm running a Randall 4x12 cab and yes I have red LED lighting to make it nice and sinister and then you have your uh, master volume uh, before this about a month and a half ago I bought a spider valve mark II. It has a Bogner tube section, so I was thinking, well, hell yeah, that's going to sound great. Got it home. Headroom sucks. Barely has any headroom. Uh, it's good for everything else except metal. But I'm, I got 15 seconds left. I'm just going to end it here. Overall, this is a very good amp. If you want to play high gain stuff, I suggest you get this amp or... Which is one of the venue series. Very good amp.